That's the wonderful thing about internal mode, man. You don't have to have two turntables. What up, though, YouTube? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your favorite damn DJ in the land, DJ Lixer, and I'm back with another video. As you can tell, just from the title of this video, y'all know what we about to get into, man. If y'all have been following me since the beginning, shout out to all you guys, man. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Make sure you're sharing the video. And you guys notice something, a, a slight trend in my videos and my gig logs. And one of the questions I always get with my gig logs is this. DJ Lixer, why are you always using just one turntable? And it just makes my life a lot easier. I've been in the gym. But <laughs> I haven't been in the gym that much, man. This it gets heavy, bro. It gets super heavy. A lot of DJs will tell you, man, especially old school DJs who are used to carrying two turntables, a mixer, and crates, is that turntables are heavy. So just to make it easier on myself with my gigs, also just to save space, I usually just DJ with one turntable. We're here to talk about how I do it. How do you DJ with one turntable? DJ off of, you know, one technique, one CDJ, one controller deck, just in case, you know, one of the decks on your controller goes out, you have that backup. It's called internal mode. Internal mode. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I use Serato. I'm not sure how to do instant doubles on Rekordbox nor Tractor. I've only used those programs a handful of times, but I'm pretty sure you can probably do it. All right, so Serato, internal mode, instant doubles. What, 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 what the what, what am I talking? What am I even talking about? Instant doubles is when you take one track, deck A, and you instantly slide it over to deck B, and it does not lose its position in that playback. That's the wonderful thing about internal mode, man. You don't have to have two turntables. If you want to, you can cheat a little bit if you got a little gig that you don't need the whole full shebang, the whole setup. You just take your one turntable, or if you're you want a complete setup, and you're like, damn, I really want this this CDJ. I really want this 1200 but I can't afford to get two, you buy the one. And then you learn how to scratch, you can switch it onto either side, it works on both sides, and you don't have to worry about using that other turntable right at this moment. Recently, I actually had an issue where my Ortofine needle, a little too hard, scratched it one day, and tore the, the needle up on it, so I needed another needle anyway, so with only one needle, I've only been able to use one turntable. Also, man, please don't be afraid to think that because you're using one turntable, you're gonna lose your creativity. Instant doubles makes life so much easier, man. If you know how to work your cue points and things of that nature, you know, I still scratch the same. It just makes life a lot easier throwing things into internal mode and using instant doubles to use one turntable. So let's check it out, man. All right, y'all, so now that we're in the lab, you know what I'm saying, we got everything set up. We gonna get into the cream of the crop, the mashed potatoes, the butter, the gravy, the fried chicken. We're gonna get into the meat of this video, man. Y'all know me, I'm always making food references because I'm always hungry. But anyway, the first thing that we're going to have to do before we even touch this, we're gonna go have to, go, gonna have to go ahead and set this up in our computer because you're gonna have to throw one of your decks into internal mode. Now, how do we do that? Obviously, I have a Technique 1200 MK2 on deck A, and I'm using a DJ MS9. So because I'm going to be manipulating my records, and I'm going to be playing my records with the first deck, I'm going to keep that in relative mode. I'm not going to touch that. And there's a difference between relative and absolute, as you can see here. But we'll get into that in another video, you feel me? Right now, we're just focused on relative and internal mode. So with that being said, right now, I got both decks in relative mode because I'm used to using both turntables. So the first thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go over here to my second deck, deck B, whatever you like to call it, and I'm going to hit this button right here that says INT. That's internal mode. And when you click this button, you're going to see the deck completely change. Now watch this. Boom. Now obviously it didn't change much, but a couple of things that you can tell the difference between, you know, you don't have a play button and a back button for one, you don't have a pitch fader over here. And you know, you can actually change something that I really like actually about internal mode, especially when I'm using Technique 1200s, my pitch fader only goes up to plus 10. Over here, I can manipulate a record to go plus 15, or I'm sorry, plus, plus eight, plus 16, and plus 50. But I'll show you guys that in, in a second once I get my second deck over there, once I get my set, my track over there. So like I said, that's it. It's easy as that, you guys. It's as simple as hitting a button. Boom, internal mode. So now we have that all set up. We're ready to get into our records. 
Now, like I said, I will be using a DJMS9 and a Technique 1200. On the DJMS9, it actually has a button here that says load, and on top it says instant doubles. So basically, when you're using this, it's as simple as the press of a button, y'all. I'm not, it's, it's easy. Internal mode is the easiest thing you could probably learn as far as DJing, like I'm not even gonna lie. So if you're using like a SX3, a SZ, a 72, it doesn't matter, man. That everybody can use internal mode on Serato. Now, it might vary by mixer, but 99% of the mixers, I'm pretty sure, has a load button on both of their decks. So all you're gonna have to do is hit that button. So let's not waste any more time, man. Let's get into it. So now we're playing our song on deck A, as you can see. We don't have anything over here. What we're gonna do is simply drag this record over to deck B, and it's not gonna change anything. It's not gonna change its pitch. It's not gonna change the timing of the record. It's not gonna do anything, you guys. And it's as simple as hitting a button. Instant doubles button. Load. Deck B. Bam! It's magic! <laughs> nah, but seriously, man. Um, and then, obviously, the next thing you're going to do, you're just going to want to slide your fader over to the second deck. Bam. Instant doubles. Easy as pie, man. Easy as making mama's pie. Maybe your mama's pie wasn't easy to make, though. So... <laughs> But it's simple as that, you guys. And one thing I want you guys to notice on my screen here is that, as you can see, since I'm using vinyl, you're, one thing you're not going to have, you're not going to have an issue with this when it comes to controllers or CDJs. But when it comes to vinyl, obviously, the needle is tracking the record. So it's going to be a little bit off. So, you know, if I, if I want to switch it back over, it's, it's not that much of a difference. But you can kind of tell the difference. Me, I like mine perfect. So, you know, I'm just going to manipulate my record here a little bit. Just to make sure it matches, maybe, you know, slow down the pitch just a tad to make sure it matches perfectly. And bam, there you go. Now let's say, you know, you messed up, you accidentally hit the record because you was drinking something and you're like, oh man, what do I do now? Guess what? All you have to do, hit that load button right there, baby. And that's instant doubles. That's how you DJ with one turntable, man. It's so easy, it's so simple there's nothing else you really have to do we can load another track though we can uh you know get it popping do a little something something you know what i'm saying of course we want to speed that up a bit so bam and what we're gonna do hey i need to get it over there that track is still playing Hit that load button. Move your crossfader over. And we're good. And you guys can still do tricks. You know what I'm saying? You can still do what you need to do off of one turntable the same way you do as two. Now, obviously, juggling is not going to be as easy off of one turntable as it is two. Because, obviously, you're using, you know, your hands. It's, it's, it's super difficult. But if you're using, like... Q points. I messed up on that Q point, didn't I? Let's say you're just using Q points and you want to bring that record back. Boom. It's easy, guys. One button. And that's all it takes, man. So that's it, man. That's all it takes is the, the press of one button. That's your instant double. That's how you DJ off of one turntable. All right, y'all. So obviously, that's exactly how you're going to use internal mode in Serato. That, that is instant doubles. That is how I DJ with one turntable. A lot of my favorite DJs, especially the OGs in the game, they're not even bringing out two turntables anymore, man. For one, in the club, you got the small, compact part where they don't want you to really even move a lot. So using one turntable is definitely like a major hack. If you have a small event and you're like, I don't need two turntables, I'm not going to be performing. Like if you're doing, you know, a small baby shower or something for your church where they don't need you to be scratching and juggling and performing, that's probably your best solution, man. That's your best bet. Like use it, use it if you're too lazy. You can also use it if one of your decks go out in your controllers. Um, I've had, I know that's happened to a couple of my DJs before where they're like, hey, what the hell is going on? My, my, my second deck isn't working. Throw that bad boy into internal mode. 
and they're good. Y'all know what to do, man. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Your girl is almost at 10,000 subscribers. Please make sure you're sharing the video. Make sure you're liking the video. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You have to be subscribed, bro. What are you doing? Don't forget to hit that bu bu One time for the one time. Every time your girl DJ Licks her uploads a video, you see it. And you're like, damn, my baby just uploaded a video? Oh, man, I gotta, I gotta watch it. So y'all know what to do, man. It's your girl DJ Lixer. Lixer Experience TV. I'll highlight you on the next one, man. Peace. All right, y'all. Before y'all leave this video, real, real quick, man, I need y'all attention for just 10 seconds. Every Friday, I'll be uploading a mix onto my SoundCloud as well as my mix cloud. So I'm going to leave links for that below. So make sure you're tuned into that because y'all know how YouTube be acting. They don't want to let me upload my greatness, show you guys my skill because I constantly get hit with the copyright. So make sure you're tuned into my SoundCloud and my mix cloud as well as my Go or No show on Facebook Live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I know some of y'all be in Germany, some of y'all in ATL. Y'all got to find y'all own little local time zones. But every Wednesday, Day at 7 p.m. on my Facebook page. Facebook.com forward slash DJ Lixer is going to be right here. Make sure y'all are clicking the links, man. Hit that like button. Sign up for post notifications and we're going to get it popping. If you don't know what Go or No is, it's an interactive game show where artists send in their music and we basically tell them like, yo, it's hot. We love it. It's a go. Or we be like, nah, fam, that's not it. Get back in the lab. Go crazy. It's a no. So make sure you're tuned in for that. I need all my DJs, everybody who's an artist, everybody who loves music, you know, just be involved, man. So that's it. See y'all on this video, man.